What's up everybody, welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith and in today's video, we're gonna mess up a deck and we're gonna put it right again. I know you may be thinking, what the hell is he on about? What we're gonna do is gonna take half of these cards, flip them over so the face up and face down, we're gonna mix them into each other so the complete mess. I'm gonna take these cards, put them behind my back and I'm gonna write it all. Amazing. And once you've seen the performance of this, I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done so you can do the same too. So let's jump to the performance. This card trick is a bit of a mess, I'm gonna warn you. But what we're gonna do is take half the cards and put them face up. So we have half face up, half face down, or roughly half. Now what we're gonna do is, gonna shuffle them in together. That's right, gonna make it even more of a mess. So there's some shuffles, just give them some more. So as you can see, they're getting even more messed up and the face up and face down are going entwined to each other. There's no particular rhyme or reason, but there's face down, face up, face down, all completely mixed in. Now, would it be impressive if I could take these, put them behind my back and I'll put them the right way? Yes? Well, I'm gonna try that anyway. So even, like I said, face up, face down, let's give it a go. So I'll take these cards and I'll just, Mm, I don't think they're quite there yet. Let's see. Sound like they're nearly ready? Mm, let's try. So now all the cards are face down. And when you look, turn it over, all the other cards are face up too. So that's took that messed up deck, turn them all the right way. How magical is that? Now we're onto the explanation for this one, and this one requires a stripper deck, if you haven't guessed, because all the other recent uploads are using the stripper deck. Now, what you want to do is, when you're doing this trick, you're gonna take about half the cards, so you don't have to get exactly 26, you can just get roughly half. So we'll take half here, and what you need to do is put them the other way, so they're gonna be facing up on the face down, but you also need to spin them around so they're facing the opposite way. So when they are mixed in together, doing the shuffles like so, they're all mixed in, gonna be face up, face down. We'll give it another couple of shuffles because in the, the presentation when you're doing it for someone, this is what you would do. You mix it up a couple of times. It doesn't matter if you do any sort of cuts, stuff like that, the cuts are fine. You do as many cuts as you want. And also the riffle shuffles, if you do them the correct way, you'll end up with all the cards mixed in together, like so, but, and with it being the stripper deck, the way you've done it is you'll be able to strip out the cards facing one particular way compared to the other way. So again, you have your deck and all the cards are facing the correct way and all in the same alignment. So you take about half the cards, flip them over, but then also flip them that way. So when you get the cards and they are shuffled in together, just like so, you'll see that the face up and face down are all entwined in each other and it looks like a big mess. But then the way it's done is with the stripper deck, all the certain cards facing up or down are aligned one way and you'll easily be able to get them to strip out. So for example, this way when you strip it out, stripping out all of the face down cards, just like so. Now, what you do for the presentation, say you're gonna do behind your back because this is what you're gonna be doing behind your back so no one can see. You essentially strip them out, you can pull them out and then flip them over. Now, when you do that, that puts the orientation of the strip back to the same way, and like so, they're all the same way now, because you stripped out all of those that were different way to go back the same way. So again, take the deck, take off about half, you're gonna flip it over and put them in together. Now, you do a shuffle, do as many shuffles as you want. The more shuffles, the more sort of messy it's gonna look and the more convincing that it's gonna be for the spectator that the face up and face down are all sort of entwined and there's no way that you can get that back together. Like so, a big mess. So again, what you can do is take the deck once it's been shuffled, put it behind your back and like so, all of the cards that are stripped out this way are actually the face up ones. So like so, they're all stripped out. And that was the face up ones. So all you do, again, just strip them out, put them on, spin them over, so then they're all gonna be the correct way. You might get some sort of stragglers. So what I tend to do is, if you give the card a cut, and then you can give a riffle down, just pretend that you're sort of checking if the cards are correctly. And then because of this, you can just sort of get any last stragglers. And then, see there? 
All them are done, apart from these top ones. So again, you give that a cut, you'll see that them are now in the middle of the deck, just like so. And then once those are all stripped out, then you are left with the deck in the, the same orientation. So you just bring that back out, see it spectator look, I've managed to do it, and just show that all the cards are the same orientation. I know that's a bit of a more complex trick using the stripper deck, but still super easy as long as you know the, understand and remember the fundamentals of when you split the deck, you're not only putting them face up the other way, but you're also spinning them around. So when they are lost in the deck, the tapered bit of the stripper deck is facing the other way. So when they're all mixed in, you can easily strip them out, just turn them back over, and then your deck is back to normal. If you're struggling with this or you have any other comments that you want to put about this trick, please leave a comment below. Remember to subscribe if you're not already. I'm doing a lot more of these stripper deck tricks, so it'll be great to get them on the channel and get your feedback on them. If you're interested in more tricks, there should be a playlist on the screen full of stripper deck tricks. There's also a video which has got five in one, so it's a bit of a longer video if you want to watch that. It's got all different tricks in there. But yeah, until next time, see ya.